Welcome to a brand new episode of Virgin Media's Future of Gaming. This week we're taking a look at the sports behemoth that is EA Sports' FIFA 15. This is football. The FIFA series began way back in 1993 and has produced more incarnations than we could be bothered to count. There's been loads and the franchise has seen all manner of technological advancements come and go. It's been there for pretty much every console generation and as sure as we are that their man likes saying it's in the game, it will more than likely be there every step of the way in the future. From its sprightly humble beginnings right up to the spookily realistic newest chapter FIFA 15, EA Sports' staple title is as familiar to games libraries as any Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed or any any number of these guys. So how do the men holding the balls keep the series fresh? This guy, Marcel Kuhn, is responsible for FIFA 15's Ultimate Team portion of the new game. If you don't know what Ultimate Team is, then you're probably over the age of 20 and about to feel really old. Ultimate Team is basically an online sticker book or trading card game, but instead of getting packs with shiny stickers or cards a stink of cheap bubblegum, you get an actual FIFA player you can stick in your FIFA Ultimate Team and play against others online. Marcel is well good at explaining it properly, and really, he probably should be. For us, Ultimate Team is more about building your squad, building the squad the way you want it to, and then taking that squad to play games with them and playing against other people that did the same thing. But one of the beauties around Ultimate Team is as well that you can play it in different ways. There are some people who are trying to get all the players that are in there. There are some people that try to play the transfer market in a way that they just buy players low and sell them high and then make a lot of coins from that. There's people that are really competitive and want to play season, go to Division 1, win titles. Um, there's all these kind of different ways to play it and I think that's, that's, that's why a lot of people love Ultimate Team. The most interesting, or depending on your age, in the infuriating thing about FIFA Ultimate Team is that it spawned a shed load of YouTubers who now make an entire living off reaction videos all about Ultimate Team. There are absolutely loads of these videos online and the YouTubers in question have started gaining cult-like followings with some boasting millions of subscribers to their YouTube channels. Does this kind of phenomenon though affect the way Marcel and the guys and gals at EA Sports make their games? I try to bring those videos always to team meetings when we get like we go over the numbers and how many people played it and what the new features are, what is the progress of the development. So I always try at the beginning or at the end to show one of those uh, top 10 videos where people open it because it's so good to see how, how much it means for people to find one of those players in, in the packs. It's actually one cool uh, feature we implemented for Xbox One where they have the, I think they call them hero moments, where you, something happens in the game and it automatically records a video clip for you. In 15, we're gonna have it so that when you open a pack and there's a player, I think it's rated over 85, it will automatically record that pack opening for you so you can use it in your, when you when you wanna do a YouTube video or when you do uh, wanna post something. So you have that there and then on your, on your console. The best to see if you give people something, what they make out of it, that you maybe couldn't even have dreamed of. I, I don't know, three, four years ago, we couldn't have probably dreamed of that there's a single person that that makes YouTube videos about our game mode that now is kind of famous and people like want to shake their hand when your games come and people run around and say, hey, you're that guy from YouTube. Um, it's awesome to see. We'll be taking a look at some other YouTubers who are making their livings from games in an upcoming episode of Virgin Media's Future of Gaming series. But for now, we're off to find that elusive messy shiny. 